How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. How's it going guys? Joshua Olufemi here. This video was brought to you by Envato Elements, but more on that later. I'm a video editor with a bad tendency towards clutter. As you can see, there's lots of rubbish on the floor. So what do I mean? I'm talking about a messy timeline, bad file organization, a non-labeled folder structure, you name it. No timeline markers, no colored clips, basically no morals whatsoever, and proud of it. Why? Because I thought I was actually prioritizing work speed over living an organized life. And guess what? This actually worked for years until I became a professional and I had to work with a team. And what's the best way to set back a post-production team? Having an editor that doesn't know how to organize their projects and handing off a project file with a timeline that's like 99 tracks deep and having all the video and audio clips just in a single folder in the project window labeled, yo, it's all in here. Organized projects are projects that communicate clearly regardless of who's viewing them. And one of the best ways to communicate the scope and true complexity of a project is to have a simplified timeline. This is a timeline without empty tracks, without too many empty spaces, without any unused clips, without any offline clips. Ideally, the perfect simplified timeline will actually fit all of your video and audio files within the first one or two tracks. Back in the day, and I mean like yesterday, you literally had to do all this manually. And man, was it stressful. I remember working as an assistant editor back in the day for director Mike Ho as an intern. And man was Mike a overlay and transition master in all of his edits. So his music videos were like 30 tracks deep. And having to simplify that many tracks, move all the clips down, take all the spaces out without making any mistakes was pretty daunting. So we just finished Adobe Max 2021. Shout out to everyone that came out to my sessions. And Adobe just released a new update to Premiere Pro called Simplify Sequence. So let's jump in. Open up your Premiere Pro sequence, go up to the sequence tab and go down to Simplify Sequence. A new sequence is then created. Shout out to Premiere for not changing your original sequence. And now you have the option of actually defining the type of simplified sequence that you want. I'm gonna choose to close the vertical gaps in the video tracks. But as you can see, I also have the option of affecting only video or only audio or both. I could also choose to remove empty tracks, graphics, transitions, through edits, disabled or muted tracks, disabled clips, offline clips, clips labeled with a specific color, that's interesting. Or lastly, even sequence markers. After you've chosen what you want, then just click simplify. And there you go. Here's the original sequence and here's the new simplified sequence. It's that easy. So guys, before we move on, I got to tell you about our video sponsor, Envato Elements, whose products I literally download and use in Premiere every day. Envato Elements is a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads to a massive library of over a million digital assets that you can use in your next editing project. And guys, you gotta trust me, like I always say, it's always cheaper buying a subscription to Elements than buying all of these products individually. So click on the link below and pay for the annual subscription. This will unlock a massive 50% discount, AKA you'll end up paying the equivalent of about $16.50 every month. After you've signed up for Elements and you've played around with it a little bit, leave me a DM on my Instagram, made by Olufemi, and tell me what you think. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And as always, remember to keep it chill.